There are no two days passing without SpaceX making headlines with their groundbreaking achievements. This is without any doubt because of their excellent team of engineers. But we shouldn't overlook the efforts of the man at the top of the company, too, Musk. He recently made headlines with an insane announcement, and we are going to talk about this in today's video. Before we delve into this development, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about SpaceX's groundbreaking news. SpaceX's journey began in 2002, when Musk founded the company with limited aerospace background and a relatively small budget, especially when compared to the vast resources of established players and national space agencies. Musk's initial investment in SpaceX was a significant gamble, aiming to buy reduce the cost of space travel and making it more accessible. The company faced early setbacks, including the failure of its first three Falcon 1 rocket launches. These challenges were critical moments that nearly pushed SpaceX to the edge of bankruptcy. However, the fourth launch of Falcon 1 in 2008 was successful, marking the first time a privately developed liquid-fueled rocket reached orbit. This success was a crucial milestone for SpaceX, proving its capability and opening the door to commercial and governmental contracts. SpaceX then developed the Falcon 9 rocket, which became known for its reusability. The first successful landing of a Falcon 9 booster in 2015 drastically reduced launch costs and became a key factor in SpaceX's ability to compete with and surpass traditional companies. In 2023, SpaceX's achievements included a record number of 91 Falcon 9 launches, along with five Falcon Heavy missions and two Starship flights, setting new industry standards. 2024 has already kicked off with remarkable speed in the sector, and it's clear that SpaceX is not the only player anymore. In the early days of January, United Launch Alliance celebrated the successful launch of its new Vulcan rocket, a moment made all the more significant by the impressive performance of the long-awaited BE-4 engine. The space race used to be between big countries like the U.S. and the Soviet Union. Now, it's more about competition between companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and ULA. Although Blue Origin has been quiet and hasn't shown as much progress as SpaceX, it's important not to count them out. The launch of their new Glenn rocket is highly anticipated. If Blue Origin can successfully launch new Glenn, they'll earn a significant place in the industry. This would show Blue Origin's ability to keep up with leaders like SpaceX and ULA. In response to these emerging competitors, SpaceX's leadership, including Musk and Jessica Jensen, have been quick to unveil ambitious plans for the company's future. One of the most striking announcements from Musk was the goal to qualify each Falcon 9 booster for up to 40 launches, a target that seemed almost too ambitious at first mention. Yet, in a demonstration of SpaceX's relentless pursuit of this goal, the company recently celebrated a milestone with the launch and landing of Booster B-1061 for the 18th time. This launch was part of a mission to deploy 23 Starlink V-2 mini-satellites into low Earth orbit, further expanding SpaceX's satellite internet constellation. This 18th mission for B-1058 not only represents a step closer to the goal of qualifying each Falcon 9 booster for up to 40 launches, but also highlights the rigorous engineering and operational strategies SpaceX employs to ensure each booster can be reused effectively. B-1058's journey began on May 30, 2020, with the Demo-2 mission, marking the first time astronauts were launched to the International Space Station from U.S. soil since the retirement of the Space Shuttle program. Since then, it has been involved in a variety of missions, including deploying satellites for the Starlink network, transporting cargo to the International Space Station, and carrying out dedicated communications satellite missions. Through these flights, B-1058 has delivered a total of 844 satellites to orbit. The turnaround time between the 17th and 18th flights of B-1058 was a mere 45 days. Traditionally, rockets were designed for a single use, with each stage falling away and being discarded after use. This approach, while effective for its time, is very costly. For instance, the Space Shuttle program, managed by NASA, was among the first to introduce the concept of reusable space vehicles. 
However, the turnaround time between shuttle flights was often several months to over a year, due to the extensive refurbishment required for the orbiters. The shortest turnaround time for a space shuttle orbiter was 54 days, achieved by Atlantis in 1985, which at the time was a remarkable feat. SpaceX's launch frequency has also seen a significant and steady increase. This upward trajectory began with a record-setting year in 2022, when SpaceX accomplished 60 successful launches. They surpassed the previous record held by the Soviet Union's Soyuz rocket, which had 47 launches in 1979. The following year, 2023, SpaceX shattered its own record by executing 96 successful launches, setting a new global standard for the most launches by a single launch vehicle family in a calendar year. This achievement surpassed the record previously held by the R-7 rocket family, which managed 63 launches in 1980. The flight on January 15th marked the 290th Falcon 9 flight in history. This mission also represented SpaceX's 300th successful mission to date. Such a track record positions SpaceX as the top choice for organizations seeking to deploy missions into space. Consider this. The January 15th mission also marked SpaceX's 190th consecutive successful landing since the last landing failure on February 16th, 2021, nearly three years ago. These recent achievements by SpaceX, including milestones in booster launches and successful missions, are just the beginning of what promises to be an explosive year for the company. Looking ahead to 2024, SpaceX has set an even more ambitious target of 148 launches. Achieving this would mean an average launch frequency of once every 2.5 days. This target includes dozens of missions using their Falcon 9 Falcon Heavy rockets and the Starship. This year is especially important for Starship, with its third test flight aimed for February. SpaceX has already completed static fire tests for both the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship upper stage in late December, indicating readiness from a hardware perspective. However, the actual launch timing in February is awaiting an updated license from the Federal Aviation Administration. This is also set to test in-space propellant transfer, a key operation for deep space missions. Specifically, SpaceX plans to conduct a propellant transfer from a header tank within Starship to its main tank as part of this test. This operation is crucial for the Artemis missions, where SpaceX envisions using Starship as the lunar lander. The company proposes a propellant depot in low-Earth orbit fuel, the lunar lander, Starship for its moon voyage. As of February 2024, SpaceX has conducted a total of 11 Falcon 9 launches, maintaining a 100% launch success rate for the year. This great start gives us a hint that the year will be full of more cool space stuff from SpaceX. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.